the UMPC frame application. So I've got my um, UMPC device here. It's basically got a little picture frame stand that's sitting up on the coffee table. And actually directly behind it is my uh, development computer. And so I just pretend, pretend that's uh, connected to like a, an actual TV. It's running Media Center. So I'm going to use the uh, UMPC frame application to interact with it. So this is just the main screen. Just got my gamer score. It's up to uh, 15,000 now because of Bioshock. Yeah. So I'll go to my pictures. My um, cat's going to help. And so now this is just a uh, basic digital picture frame now. It just cycles through uh, vacation pictures. That's the sun. So I'm going to go back. Uh, we can do one of the interesting features is to surf TV channels. So actually, let me go ahead and kick off live TV real quick. I'll go to the Media Center remote. Go to live TV. So my Media Center is now going to live TV mode. Work for six years. We're watching a shot caller for his gang. National this Geographic. Was the rule on sea yard. Actually, let's turn the volume with the remote. Hey, Move him in the cell with me. Taught him everything he's he needed to know. He wanted to be down. one of us. I made him one of us. Oh, that's volume Soon, up. Soon, his volume apprentice down. got into a conflict with another inmate. J-Dog is the leader. See, that's changing the volume here. His orders. He commanded his young student to beat up the other inmate, but not to take it too far. Go down there. All right. Beat the no. Door. Just do it for his disrespect. Go back out. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him, Dad. I go back to the main screen. And said, I want to watch about, I don't want to learn about gangs. So we're going to surf TV channels. And all it did is sent a command to the media center to start surfing channels uh, on its own. So I, it sends a, li sends a list of channels too. So right now it's just uh, iterating, iterating through that list of channels. It tunes to a channel and grabs a screenshot and then it just moves on to the next channel. So it does about, I actually have a one second delay. So there's, there's two things I want to watch. So first there's some sort of sex going on here. So let's tune to that. I saw skin, so let's see what that is. Oh god, it's till death do us part. I can't watch this. So I'm gonna go back. And I thought I saw a family guy earlier, so let's browse. Yep, so channel three. Let's say tune to that. And sure enough, here's Family Guy. Money, money. That's that's quality. Uh, Peter, so, we had no idea oops, you were back. such a philanthropist. It's a fabulous boss, Peter, darling. Do you collect objets all? Well, that's French for Star Wars. So this just has a list of all different shows, and if I <laughs> click in on a different show, <laughs> if I lift this, keep running, it would have multiple oh, clips from uh, enough, the, the same show. So if you saw one was in a commercial, you could see like a minute ago that it was something else. So I'm going to back out of that. Uh, now if I do search the web, this is just a little util application to help me surf a little bit easier. So if I search for Family Guy, of course. Oops. Oh, okay, I searched too early. Can't type. Okay, so you just enter it once and then I can search Google Web or images or whatever and I don't have to enter the text in every single time. So that's just convenient. Back out. Uh, now I can do the... Actually, let me kick off a video real quick. Go back to the remote. Uh, my vids. So that's going into my vids. I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left again, because it's the Eric's Pride video, and I'm going to say OK. So now that's, that's playing, quality. Uh, go back, go to the Now Playing section, and it shows me uh, the metadata for that title. So right now it's just the title, its position, and a duration. 
what's uh, slick about the duration and what sucks on Media Center is trying to jump to a specific point in time. But across the bottom you can see this little slider bar and I can use that to just take it and drag it and it'll move to a different move forward in the video. So I was like, oh, if I like that, I can just drag it back. Actually, move back down. And then it has it skip forward around, like skips around in the video just based on the position of the slider bar. So it gives you random access. Uh, another feature, well, you already saw the remote. So it's just a basic virtual remote here. I've got the basic navigations, so live, live TV and such. I can go to my pictures and everything from here. There's also a uh, soft keyboard. And for, I've got a bug in this where it only works like in capital letters right now, but I try to model it after the um, messenger kit that's coming out for the uh, Xbox 360. Let me back out of this. I'll go to uh, music. This is just uh, folder based, so it retrieves um, the the music files that are in uh, uh, that I've got shared across the network. I don't want to play a lo play them locally, but I want them to play on my media center. So I go into one of the directories. And these are just directories that I created, like some old school 808 state. I play some time bomb. I can choose to play it now or to append it, or if I wanted to play this whole folder, I could say. Uh, or any subdirectories that were in here right now. This is all files because it's all gray. I could say play all, and I could also have it play it shuffled. And it can append it to a playlist that's already going, or it can just trump it and you can play it now. So that didn't seem to click. Play now. So now I can turn, let me go back and turn the volume up so you can hear that it's playing using the remote. Volume up. So now it's playing on my media center. If I went to back to the music, I could go, let's go back to the same directory. I could say play all, append. Go back out of this, go back to the remote. Uh, is it? Green button. I'm gonna go to the basically the now playing section. So I'm scrolling up. So now I'm in now playing. If I go down, oh actually up and view the queue. You can see that all those songs are added to the queue on Media Center. So you could use this to basically keep your TV off and uh, control this for maybe if you got like a deck or something you want to control music. Uh, go back down and then the last thing is the Media Center guide. So I click on that and what happens is it calls the plugin on Media Center, uh, grabs all the data, serializes it, and sends it back to this plugin. Um, so now here's just your standard looking guide with the channels listed on the left, uh, the time across the right and the actual programs in the middle. So you can see that uh, Family Guy was on Channel 3. Uh, got buttons here to you know, cycle through this the guide just like the normal Media Center remote. If I go up, uh, go to TBS, click that channel, which is a button, and it gives you a list of everything that's gonna be on that channel in order. Uh, go back. I click on Family Guy to get more detailed information about it. If I go to More Info, uh, this screen's not complete, but uh, this is where you can choose to say Record It or Record Series, and I just got lazy. Back out of that. Alright, so that's the uh, UMPC frame application.